Um, hi, my name is Dixon. Uh, my background for creative practice is poetry, a little bit of dramaturgy, and uh, dance. Uh, I'm at Make It Now as a collaborator, not an initiator. So I decided to register for this event because I don't have very much experience doing movement-based research or movement-based performance collaboratively. So I just thought it would be really interesting to try to work with other people and figure out how people with different practices and different styles end up making one single project. I'm not super familiar with the idea of a hackathon. I'd heard of it before, and I sort of knew that hackathons for computer science oftentimes were like you're trying to make a software program or an app. So in comparison, it's interesting to think about creating a performance. Um, or some kind of movement piece because the question is what's the end product you're creating? Are you trying to create like a user experience for your audience, um, a set piece of choreography that can turn into a performance piece, or are you trying to come up with like, uh, like creative techniques or practices that you could then share with somebody else? So I'm interested to see what every single group is going to come up with as an end product. So I think what's been challenging so far is working with other people and not being entirely sure what kind of end product or like what experience or whatever it is that they're trying to imagine because we have a bit of a time constraint so I think when we started we just went right in with like the kind of raw data we had from the collaborators and just started saying ideas so that was a little difficult because it took us at least an hour just to get on the same page for what we wanted to talk about and what's been most rewarding is Seeing how the idea I had in mind has changed the second I try to say it to somebody else and they go like, oh, we should add this, this, and this, because they add a lot of perspectives and a lot of details that I normally don't think about. So it's been really rewarding to feel like I've picked up a lot of techniques and practices from everybody else. So at least for this uh, project we have for Make It Now, we're devising a project around social media. And in my own creative practice, I almost never think about technology as an idea. So that's just been kind of different. I'm usually thinking about either like philosophical concepts or political events or poems or other pieces of art. And I'm usually responding to those. So for me, it was um, really fun actually to think about how I could use non-art or aesthetic things to try to make art. So I think Make It Now is really great as kind of an idea workshop where you have an idea and you have to present it to other people. And part of the process of presenting it to other people and talking to them is they ask clarifying questions. So you learn how to pitch an idea that you have to a very diverse audience. And you also learn to speak across practices and disciplines. So I think that's just something I'm always working on with my own creative practice is how do I present the process behind it to somebody else to get their assistance or to help clarify what it is that they're seeing that I've made. And techniques that I would take later on, um, we did this really great free association exercise earlier today where we had to fold a piece of paper into 20 different squares. And for 20 minutes, we were allocated one minute per square just to draw or doodle or write an idea. And that was a kind of free association, creative, um, creativity fostering exercise that I'd never done before that I'm definitely going to take away.